Welcome to American Truck Simulator. Today we'll be using this Kenworth W900 Aero Sleeper to haul construction houses from Reno, Nevada to San Rafael, California. We are being paid just around $5,800 in game and this load weighs in at just around 15,000 pounds. It's a pretty light load here for the W900. We'll be turning this Kenworth on and we'll be going through our digital dash to our digital speedometer. I really do like that a lot. I am using the Logitech G29 racing steering wheel and pedals for today's video and you guys can see we will have to kind of turn here and leave. It's very exciting to be back here in American Truck Simulator. I feature this every single Wednesday here on the channel and it's a ton of fun. Now I am trying to be as careful as we can but let's kind of just take a quick look at these construction houses. So you guys can see doors on that side, a pretty small window but they are really just for job sites and we do have to be pretty careful now and there looks to be not too much traffic. It is pretty early in game but that is okay now these usually go to different job sites and maybe the supervisor kind of goes inside and not sure if they're air conditioned but uh, it looks like we are ready to go here it's good that way and uh, this way is always good we definitely do need quite a bit of room to turn and it looks like we could turn on red which is always nice and we are doing a pretty good job there on that turn I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good so far and hope yours is too. And I do appreciate all of the support here on the daily videos. So stay tuned for that. And I currently do have a farming series here in the works. I will be live streaming it two days a week here. It's going to be pretty cool. I will be streaming on Twitch one day and then one day on YouTube for the other. So hope you guys are excited for that. I do get a lot of requests for it. And it's going to be very cool because I want to stream like this for these summer months, enjoy it and interact with you guys live. Now over here there's quite a bit of traffic so we will have to wait for them all to go by. And I definitely do not want to pull out here in front of a semi truck, that would not be a very smart thing to do. Uh, they, the majority of the times are hauling heavy loads, you guys can see right through an intersection we have to go. I mean that's just what's going to happen, and then you have this semi truck, let them go. Yes we are in the center, but we can't really stay so we got to move. And it looks like we are taking another left, so we'll stay here in this lane. For all of my farming slander videos, I'm trying to give you guys a link to all of the mods now and I'm trying my best to only use public mods. I think the public mods aspect is going to help uh, so that you guys are able to do the same thing I do here in my video. So that's going to be pretty cool, only using public mods I've, I've been doing and I've been adding links and overall I think it's going to be a great thing for all of you guys. And if you do have any cool video ideas, always let me know down below. We are getting quite a bit of red lights here today, which is okay, and I will try to add in as much driving as we can. I usually kind of cut a lot of it out, but I think that we'll kind of uh, keep a little bit more of it today. I am also currently looking into kind of us uh, setting this up to kind of shift our own gears because it's in just simple automatic, and shifting it would be pretty cool. So if you do have racing pedals and everything like that, please let me know because I am having a little bit of trouble configuring the uh, G29 racing steering wheel, the shifter that goes along with it, and then the clutch because I have a 2018 Subaru WRX Limited and I want to shift the gears just like I do on that car. So this is going to be pretty cool and you guys can see a traffic jam. It looks like that truck is right through the intersection and uh, wow, I mean looks like we are just stuck here at a traffic jam. And until one person goes, let's hope that that person goes on the next light. They are completely in the intersection there. Wow, I mean, that is not supposed to happen. But as you guys can see, it looks like this one is just going to go through a red light. And just about to quad. Take a look at that. Almost, almost just witnessed a crash there. It almost looks like the light is opposite. Everybody goes when it's red. So hopefully it's not that opposite. And uh, because we definitely will be getting uh, penalties, but it looks like we are good to go here. You just have to be patient driving, and you do have to w look at all of your surroundings. And we could definitely go here on red, no sign, so we'll just keep going here. I do have a lot of very cool videos here coming to the channel, so hope you guys are excited for all of them. I can't wait for them. With all of the different games I currently am featuring, B-Menchi, Spin Tires, soon to be more Minecraft, Forza, American Truck Sim, and Farming Simulator. A ton of cool games. You guys can see we got the uh, indicator on, and once it's good to go, 
Uh, it looks like we are ready to go. You always do want to make sure they are turning up. He's turning. Uh, they might have it on, but not turning. Then you cause an accident, and you just cause more headaches. So I always do like to make sure that once they do start to turn, then I go. And we are getting on here pretty tight fit. And you guys can see freeway entrance very tight. And we cleared it open over there. And you guys can see we just actually took down that sign. That's probably one of the... Uh, only crashes I've done over the previous videos I don't really do any crashes maybe one time I kind of touch the wall kind of backing the trailer but as you guys can see getting up to speed it's a very slow here with a W900 just because we are going up a hill and trying to gain speed and you guys can see this truck I am a little bit over the line and uh, that slowed him down which is nice and uh, for us by the same time it's not for him so we'll kind of gain up our speeds to 65 you guys can see we are up on this bridge pretty high up and I really do like using the steering wheel it does add to the realism for both you and me because the movement of the steering wheel is so fluent so realistic I currently do not use a steering wheel for my farming simulator I use an Xbox one controller wireless and I do recommend you guys go check out my setup video if you guys like to see what I do use and we actually do have to get over here and usually this uh, center lane is always where I want to be because you guys just saw that lane goes off into exits and people merge on so I think we'll stay here in the center lane you guys can see doing a few over the speed limit a few over is not bad but we can't go too much over especially here in this game you do get a speeding ticket uh, for going one over so I think we'll say just around 64 this should be a really good speed for us Driving big semi trucks like this are a bit tricky, but overall I really do enjoy doing it. You guys can see it's kind of hard to kind of gauge, even in this simulation it's uh, pretty hard to do, backing up especially, And but overall we do manage it pretty well, and you guys have shown a ton of support here on this series, I can't wait to do more. You guys can see really just cruising at around 60, 65 is where I want to stay in between, do not really want to go over, and you guys can see just kind of checking these, making sure no semi trucks are flying. In. And there's quite a bit of traffic you guys can see just slamming here on the brakes you just really always always have to be ready to get on the brakes speed up or whatever happens here almost we could have just quieted that would have been very bad because that looks like it's a gas truck but sometimes when semi trucks do merge on the speeds definitely do drop and I really want to get over and kind of pass these few and we are ready to go it looks like that these few are just really slow this one is actually trying to pass wow uh, he came right in front of us and he's really not going uh, fast uh, to kind of pass that person uh, so that's a bit interesting usually and wow we're gonna switch back over because we really were just trying to pass but now this person came here and he's not really helping out you guys can see you're actually going faster here on this land so sometimes that does happen and you just gotta make the most of it actually it's gonna turn off here that actually does make a little bit more sense I really do like these engine sounds here in the game I do have custom ones which is pretty cool gas here is 290 sometimes when we've been doing it it's been three 340 and it's always nice to get around 290 you guys since let's kind of take a look already up to 50 gallons $200 and our employer does <laughs> cover this cost $375 at 129 I mean that's not that bad and I mean a diesel is just very expensive and hopefully getting on here won't be that big of a problem because usually it is with the semi trucks but there's quite a bit more traffic now it's pretty early morning and we'll just have to keep going and that truck looks like it's just going to stop there we'll kind of take a quick look you guys can see just take a look at that just so much cars maybe that truck could go but really you have to be patient in this situation you can't just rush out you are going from a standstill pretty much to a very fast speeds and these trucks are most likely coming at 50 60,000 you guys can see I do have my foot on the brake pedal and it just goes there into reverse there are a few times where this truck could potentially go but at the same time that looks to be his best uh, area to go good for us too so we'll go but as you guys can see it's a very slow acceleration here for us
We are now climbing up to speeds. It's been a bit slow for us, but overall, it is pretty realistic. Even with a semi truck just like this, it is hard. But take a look at those cinematic shots, guys. Some amazing shots. Two construction houses we are hauling here today. And this shot is always tricky, though, to drive in. You, know, you just really can't uh, know really where the lines are, but I really do like it a lot at the same time Just these cinematic shots it is pretty cool I am actually doing a really good job and then on the turn it actually did bring us back So you guys can see just climbing 80 miles per hour is the speed limit Let's just kind of take a quick look here at the sign and it looks like steep grades ahead So we better just stay on the acceleration in it so we do not lose any momentum because we'll definitely get slowed down by these steep hills like I was saying, we'll just kind of keep our foot here on the gas, but it actually almost looks like we are going downhill, but that sign said steep grade, so it should be coming up here in the distance. It usually give you a pretty big warning, but overall, this Kenworth today has been doing a really nice job. Speeds upwards of 75 miles per hour. That's pretty fast, and you guys can see dropping now to 55, so we'll just kind of uh, stay off, and we do need to pull in and get our vehicle inspected. And wow, that's a pretty big notice there, but we'll kind of stop here. It's actually right probably at the bottom, but you guys can see the landscape here is amazing. I really do like it a lot, so we'll kind of get over. We are a little bit over too much now, but we'll kind of just stay like this, and we'll kind of just come over here and stop speed limit of 15 so we better draw pretty fast you guys can see this one is loaded we, so we are loaded we have to come over here to this one and I'm not sure the load weighs uh, 15,000 pounds I'm not sure where the truck comes in we'll come to a complete stop here looks like we have to pull forward just a little bit and they want us to release our brakes as you guys can see, our gross weight is 50,060 pounds. This is not that bad, but it looks like we do have quite a bit of traffic here to get on. And if you haven't already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and Twitter at Squad2448. I actually just posted a picture asking you guys what we should add to with the new farming series, what type of tractors, equipment, and farm trucks you guys would like to see. But merging on the highway here wasn't that bad at all. I mean, that was pretty easy. You know, it almost looks like we are getting off the highway up here, and it looks like the highway just turned, actually. We are now getting off the highway over here to San Rafael, and I really do like going in between the different states. So we start out in Nevada, and we will now be uh, ending today's video here in California, which is pretty cool. Usually these American Truck Simulator videos are a little bit longer than my farming slanter ones, especially since there's quite a bit of driving. I am trying to make longer videos for all of you guys. It's the summertime, we have a bit more time, and like I was saying, we'll be doing three watch streams every single week we'll be doing two farming related and then on uh, friday night will be our fun one so if you guys are excited for that that will actually be starting next week so i can't wait for that i do have a few more things to work out in the farming series mod wise but it's going to be pretty cool let me know if you guys are excited we will be streaming one day on twitch too so that's going to be exciting going over to twitch i do have a twitch channel if you guys would like to check it out it's in the description along with my twitter and instagram i do uh, post daily updates and I will be posting when I am on live on all of them you guys can see doing a great job here we are a little bit over speed limit but overall this Kenworth W900 has been doing one amazing job for us like I was saying, these cinematic shots here are a bit tricky. Looks like we are going through a little bit of farmland. You guys can see farm tractors over there. We'll kind of get out of that view just because we do not want to crash. We have just around uh, one hour left here in today's haul. Not too long. And wow, we are going really over speed limit. We'll just kind of get on the brakes there. But overall, I mean, going the speed limit is always a bit tricky because it's so easy to go fast. You just have to really watch your speed, watch the area. And you always want to go under the posted speed limit but here we are guys we are entering San Rafael now it looks like we might have our destination a different area it could be past the town speed limit of 35 looks like we have a construction zone wow this will take us quite a long time and it actually looks like they do have a mini light system set up that is always pretty helpful looks like we are going to be able to make this light 
and just take a look at that guys looks like they have a road barrier quite a few people working and just wow looks like they're redoing the piping there in the ground and there's just so much cars we're kind of get over a little bit more there's some pretty cool vans a variety of cars that do have some pretty realistic traffic packs here also in the game to help out with the realism just take a look at that traffic though there's just so much it looks like we are now going to be getting on once again another freeway which is okay i am trying to be as close to the wall as i can but that is pretty close to go and i could actually see the bubble here where our destination is so it's actually very close by which is always pretty cool and yeah it looks like we'll be going on the highway then getting off at the ne next exit and almost looks like a fire truck just kind of turned down the street and i was correct stay tuned for a fire rescue video that was pretty cool very nice fire one i mean that is awesome i can't wait to do more and more fire related ones that is pretty cool Looks like we are here in traffic, which is okay. It is actually very realistic to be in traffic when you are hauling, when you are going through the different ones. So I always do like to do it, but you just have to be very careful when you are in traffic, not go too far forward. But it looks like actually there's a light here. And will we be able to make that light? Nope. If you do have any cool truck ideas here for American Truck Simulator, let me know. We are just doing quick jobs, which makes it a little bit easier, and we get to use a variety of trucks and haul a different type of load. And it looks like we can go. We are making a right-hand turn over here, and this one's making a... I left, but no uh, traffic in front, which is a bit easier. Take a look at that guy's yellow light, but we already are into the intersection, so we really do have to go. You guys can see, doing a really nice job, and we do want to take a very wide turn. We have traffic there, though. Make a very wide turn. I really do like the steering wheel. Great movements and everything like that, and I believe that we already have come by this place. This truck's getting on the brakes. Wow, take a look at that. Usually, whoa, there is a few cars good thing he did that and he's ready to go and he's going which is nice yep he's going and I'm just going to keep my turn signal on because we are actually going to the next one we'll actually kind of just turn it off and uh, we'll uh, kind of get behind this truck we do not want to be too close do not want to tailgate uh, that is definitely not a safe thing to do and it will indicate and get off over here but wow it's actually a pretty nice haul it was a very quiet haul not too busy and this truck is also coming this way and we do want to drop our speeds pretty heavy load and I will get over the lane I always do like being over here in this lane so we do have to be a bit careful you guys can see it's a two lane so we have to watch out that there could be cars coming by but I just like being in this lane and it also looks like our destination is over here take off that that truck is actually a very small truck small load and you guys can see I do not want to be passing him it actually looks like the destination here is on the other side so we will have to turn here and almost thought that it was on the opposite side but it's coming up here very quick and you guys can see this car is definitely not able to go giving him a little bit more room and just do not really want to be too close especially since that is a very tight area but it looks like we are going to be getting off the highway once again up here and then our destination is right over there you guys can see great landscape this game has amazing landscapes amazing trucks and the simulation uh, physics everything about this game is really awesome you guys can see we are now getting off the highway here which is nice we definitely want to get on our brakes a very steep hill we gotta not only slow down the actual momentum we get from this hill but we do have to come to a complete stop and take a look that over there you guys looks like there's like a little skateboard park which is pretty cool haven't really seen anything like that ever before and it looks like this truck is going to let us go since he's turning there we do have to be pretty careful very tight turning but we were able to do it wow take a look that threading the needle if you want to call it that was very very tight and we do have to be pretty careful here on this turn, but overall, very nice job. We are going a few miles per hour over the speed limits, and then we'll be turning up here to our left. 
and we just discovered a new recruiting agency which is pretty cool and it's actually just right over here looks like a pretty big construction site unless it's a construction company shop and yes guys we have made it here successfully from reno nevada to san rafael california very successful and we'll just have to wait for somebody to go looks like we can but that's a blind corner so we do have to go quick if we do go yep and it looks like our destination is coming up so we do have to find the manhole it looks like it's a little bit more up this is just their shop it looks like pull for just a little more and we do want to do the 90 XP, so it looks like it has to be backed inside of the shop. Let's kind of take a quick look. So that's a bit interesting. We can most likely go around the shop, so that will be pretty cool. It could actually be parked on the outside. We do have to go pretty slow, but you guys can see very, very nice area. I mean, this thing looks awesome, this shop. Really do like the textures, everything about this. And it looks like almost we have to go on the inside, but at the same time, it almost looks like the outside. So we'll have to take a quick look, and let's kind of take a really good look at this. Is it on the inside there, or... Looks to be almost right next to it. Yeah, it looks like it's not there on the inside. Is it this little tiny area? And no cones there. We'll go for just a little bit more. As you guys can see, that is where it is. Wow. I mean, that was actually very hard to see. But that is actually not going to be that hard because we can squeeze through this little tiny area. And then it will actually be pretty much uh, lined up here. So we'll just nicely slowly back up. And then we'll make our way down here. We'll be a bit tricky. But should be no problem. You guys can see a little too fast. We do have to take it very slow. And I got to get as close to this wall as I possibly can. Just so we can make this turn. You guys can see just take a look at how tight that is. Awesome, so now we'll be just pulling forward just a little bit more. We'll kind of switch out of this view. We actually did go forward a little bit more than what we really needed, but overall, finding this drop-off area was a bit uh, tricky. It did take us a little bit of extra time, but no problem whatsoever. It looks like we'll be able to get this here on our first try. Very easy. And wow, we are actually going a little bit fast backing up, but that should be no problem. And it uh, looks like, yeah, I already got the wheels lined up. Got to just turn the truck back. And is it going to work? Looks like it should just about. Wow, uh, <laughs> the tread is a little bit more that way. We'll have to pull forward. We do have to watch. Looks like no fence is in front of us. Backing in trailers is a bit hard, and it's always harder using a steering wheel here in the game. As you guys can see, we have completed today's haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.